five days of the season. It's Monday, the uh, day after we got Jesse's deer there. I am walking out to an area that we've kind of hit pretty hard in the last few weeks. Fortunately, Harley was not able to uh, get a legal buck in front of her. However, uh, I still have Friday evening, the last evening, to get her up. Little bucks are going to get a pass on me. It's going to have to be a three-pointer better for me to shoot it. So we'll see what we can see and uh, see how it goes. I'm going to hit this spot tonight. If I don't see one in here tonight, I'm at another spot tomorrow. I've just got last chance draws. I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket. All right, so I got about 20 minutes of light left. Uh, I'm not seeing anything out here. So it's the last day of the season. It's Friday morning, slipping in here to where the trail cameras are. I'm gonna pull the one that's not locked to the tree and we're gonna check the memory card on the other one. I remembered the keys this time. So anyways, we're just still hunting our way through this uh, really thick timber patch. We're gonna open up up here a ways, but we're gonna do a little rattling in this thick stuff, see if we can't get anything to come in. Uh, I'm not gonna be shooting anything under a three point unless it's a really big mature buck, you know, fork and horn. Uh, I will have my daughter out this evening if I don't get anything this morning. I've got a doctor's appointment this afternoon, so. All right, so just pulled the uh, memory card off the camera, only 66 pictures. And that's with the uh, dough and heat, Easter's urine, and some apple scent. And some regular, just black tail scent. So we'll see what those pictures are. I just put a bottle of cougar scent in front of that camera, just to see. Uh, before I did all that, I did rattle in here. I didn't see anything come in, at least that I seen. Um, so I'm just going to continue to still hunt my way back to the truck now. We pulled the uh, other camera that we put up that wasn't locked up. So now both cameras I got looking after this herd uh, of elk for Jess, is, uh, they're both locked up. So.
anything else cool around their feet area? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool, too. You see any more mushrooms around here? So we're uh, coming in here to uh, swap SD cards on this camera before we go get a load of wood. So just me and the boy, and we just found a really old elk shed that's completely just gone, but we're going to take it home. Got a lot of mass on it, that's pretty cool. We got one of the glands off of Jesse's buck, and uh, got he had a full sack of urine, which I was able to get all of it. We're going to put that in front of this trail camera. Alright, so here we are at the camera two spot. Last time we are in here, this is the tree we put the dope pee on. Jess shot a buck. She got a buck that was rutting up last weekend. And so we got a, a gland here. We got one of his glands, okay? He also had um, a full bladder, so I got like three bottles, like two, a big eight ounce one, and then two of these smaller ones full of his pee. So what I'm gonna do is I already got some of it soaked into here. I'm going to tie this around the tree. The camera is right there where it was. And we're going to see how this works. Uh, oh yeah. That stinks pretty bad. So, this is her buck's pee. Deer are getting ready to go into full rut here in Oregon on the coast. Um, here in like, I think next weekend they should be peaking and they'll, they'll peak for like four or five days. So some of the does are starting to come into Easter's already. Um, very few, but the, the, a handful are. And that's what you see the bucks rutting up now for. Like Jesse's buck, he was just hot on his doe when it get off of her. Uh, he was obviously rutted up. So that doe was coming into Easter's early. I found that doe a couple times and had a little button buck chasing her. I've never seen a button buck acting so ruddy like that one was. They normally don't do that at that age, but obviously they do. I mean, he was chasing her nonstop, uh, dogging her, drooling out of his mouth, everything, and you could actually see he was rubbing his little tiny nubs. So we'll see how this uh, this buck gland does. Um, I've never really used scents for blacktail, so this is all really new to me. Not that I'm gonna do it, but uh, if I archery hunt one of these years for blacktails again, um, then I will, uh, I'll probably do it because I'll probably hunt the late season. Okay, we just come across this big alder. I mean, this is big. My hand's nine inches from tip of fingers to the palm. Is that claw marks? It doesn't have the form uniform. Well, I guess it does have a uniform scratch. All right, so who could tell us what this is. That looks, I'm gonna say bear. That's low for bear. I bet you that's that's probably cougar marks. I don't know. Who says bear? Who says cougar? Or who says just a really mad bull elk? Or maybe a big buck? Or maybe this guy? No, this guy's old. That's, that wouldn't be here. This is actually pretty fresh. There's shavings and everything still on the ground right next to it. There's, I wonder you think that might be a buck doing that? But it might be claw marks. Because there is a uniform to some of these. Yeah, but like right here, those are pretty uniform. What are uniform? These are pretty uniform. I bet you that's a cougar scratching a tree or a bear. What? Alright, so if you know what this is, can you please uh, comment below? Kind of let us know. This is pretty cool. That's a big alder to be getting picked on by any type of deer. So it's I'm going to say it's not deer. Some of those are pretty uniform, probably claws. So maybe. A bear would be up higher, you would think, or go up the tree more. I wonder what that is. 
I've heard of elk uh, cows doing it with their teeth. Maybe that's what that is. Cow biting it and scraping it with their teeth. But I don't know. Anyways, comment below if you know what that is. Thank you. Go. Hi, this is James from Fall Food Outdoors. So show them. What do you think? It's cool. There's a tree growing out of a tree. A tree laying across the, the ditch there? Yeah. Can you point at it? Yeah? And then point at the tree growing out. Where's that at? Yeah, that one there. That's a big tree, too. And I see the roots on the bottom. Yeah, and you can see the roots coming through. Big old old growth laying across the creek there. Pretty cool spot, huh? Yeah. This is something James wanted to share with you guys on our little adventure hiking out of here from checking the trail camera. Have a good day. Please subscribe. <laughs>